Hello guys, I'm very excited to show you this brand new model called as Olmo which comes in two flavors, 1 billion and 7 billion parameters. Olmo stands for Open Language Model and it might at first glance look like any other 7 billion or 1 billion model such as Mistral, Llama or Tiny Llama but the thing is that it is quite different. This Olmo model is based on this research paper which has been done by a lot of researchers from various organizations. This Olmo model on many axes is very similar to some of the model which I just mentioned like Mistral and Llama and it is available for direct download. It can be fine tuned easily on consumer hardware. It offers a broad base of capabilities and other things we have been seeing with Mistral, Mistral and Llama. But still, Olmo represents a new type of LLM enabling new approaches to machine learning research and deployment because on a key axis of openness, Olmo represents something entirely different. Olmo is built for scientists to be able to develop research directions at every point in the development process and execute on them, which was previously not really available due to incomplete information and tools. Olmo's uh, 1 billion parameter model has 16 layers and its hidden size is 2048, attention heads are 16 and then token, token strain are 2 trillion. In simple words, a uh, layer in this diagram or in, in this table means that it's simply a computational unit that processes input data through operations like matrix multiplication and activation function and it is structured to learn different aspects of the data. And in a neural network or LLM, it consists of multiple such layers stacked together to increase their learning capacity and depth of understanding. So 1 billion has 16 and then more powerful models like 7 billion, 65 billion, which will come later, uh, that has 80 layers. So more layers, more powerful and more larger the LLM will be. Hidden size, the second one is simply refers to the dimensionality of the internal vectors that represents the data within the model's layers. It's a key parameter that impacts the model capacity to process and understood, understand complex patterns in the data. Then we have attention heads. Attention head is a component of attention mechanism that allows the model to focus on different parts of the input sequence when predicting an output. Multiple attention heads can capture various aspects of the data, enhancing the model's ability to understand complex relationship. And as you can see, the larger the model, the more attention heads. So for example, 1 billion has 16 attention heads, whereas the upcoming 65 billion Olmo has 64 attention heads. And then we still don't know how many to tokens the 65 billion is uh, will, will have because it is still under training. Whereas 1 billion has 2 trillion of tokens and 7 billion has 2.46 trillions of tokens. Now, there are various other key features of this awesome um, Olmo model. For example, Olmo is strong on a bunch of classic generation benchmarks if you compare them to all of these models. Um, but it lags slightly on tasks like MMLU and GSM 8K. The researchers have done a lot of experiments to run on instruction tuning and that is where this model shines. Per token capabilities of this Olmo model is also amazingly um, awesome. And the right way to look at models in I guess right now as we are looking at more and more model is per token training efficiency. Olmo edges out Llama 2 by training on about 20% more tokens and also uh, I'm not sure it is true or not but Mistral 7B is trained on 2 to 4 times as many tokens as Llama 2 so it means that Olmo has already beaten Mistral 2. Also they have released the data set which is uh, under the Dolma project and I have another video discussing the Dolma project. All the models and code are released under Apache 2 with the data set under the AI2 impact license. All the artifacts are with the links and stuff are present on Hugging Face and I will also drop the link to its model in video's description. So enough theory, let's now see how we can get it installed on our local system 
and then we'll go from there for this i will be using my trusted ubuntu server let me log into my ubuntu server this is my ubuntu server and you can see that i'm using ubuntu 22.04 let me clear my screen that's done now in order to install it first thing we need to do is to install ai2 olmo because this has um, this model is created by ai2 so it's a bit different let's install it and it is going to download some stuff let's wait for it to finish should not take too long so the library is installed which is great and we can ignore this warning these are from my earlier project let me clear my screen and now let's fire up python interpreter where i'm going to install download and install this model first step let's import the library which is import hf underscore elmo let's wait for it to get imported first time it takes a bit of a time that's done secondly let's import our trusted uh, transformers library and its modules that's also done and now let's specify our olmo model from the hugging face which is a pre-trained model And you can see that it is downloading this Olmo one. And the, for the purpose of um, this video, I'm using Olmo 1 billion because I have one GPU of 16 GB of VRAM. So I think that should work, but you can follow the same one for almost 7 billion or 65 billion even. Okay, so that is done. You can ignore this warning. Let's also get the auto tokenizer. Cause that is what model needs and that should be fairly quick now let's specify our prompt here i'm just going to say it once upon a time and then i will let model complete it for now let's enter it here let's send this as an input to the model that's done awesome so let's now generate the output with some of the usual hyper parameters like randomness and top k top p if you don't know what they are i have another video where i discuss them so this basically controls the output with the probabilities in very very simple words let's wait for the response to be generated and then we will print the response out that's done let me print the response and there you go so it has printed out the response here and then you can just change your message here and then you can uh, start doing the inference for example you can just say message language modeling is then take the input pass it along you can also put it in the function and then call from there but as i'm just doing it in the interactive way in the interpreter so it is just showing me um, the interactive way from this one so you can even put it in the hugging face pipeline easily and if you don't know what that is i have another uh, video on that one and then simply print it there you go so it is telling us language modeling model modeling is what and as i said earlier this is more like a scientific uh, nature of stuff and but uh, the inference is quite good and i have used it uh, with various prompts works like a charm okay let's play around with couple more prompts so let me clear my screen now let me paste it here so you can see that what i'm doing here is i'm asking it i have two boyfriends i married one girlfriend how many boyfriends do i have now so for us human this looks pretty straightforward but i have seen that a lot of models get confused with the answer so let's see what this model does here now this model is simply hallucinating it doesn't have any idea what it means anyway so i'll just clear the screen i would say this is a fail let me ask it a bit of a jailbreak question let me first paste it and i'll explain what i mean by that so you can see what i'm doing here is um, i am just asking it to make a computer virus and i'm wrapping that up in my uh, innocuous prompt but this model has simply gone in and then printed my response back so i think 
let me try again one by one maybe i'll just give model bit more time to uh, process it and then i am just sending this as an input again that's done let's get the response back and because i have also set max token to 100 so that is why the uh, you know the responses are terse let's see what it does this time okay let's print the response there you go <laughs> so it is um, maybe i will just simply increase this to thousand how is that and then i will print it to see what it prints because it has started doing something but i want to see the quality of the response I'm more interested in whether it is going to give me a computer virus program or it will just simply apply some censorship. So let's wait and you can see that I have increased the number of new tokens and it is taking more and more time. Hopefully my GPU will be able to sustain that. So let's see. Let's wait for it to come back. Maybe I should have given 500. I think I got a bit excited. So it took. 10 long minutes to come back let me see what it prints oh wow there you go now if i scroll up you can see that um, this has done that to the author you need a computer and a mouse and a pen to write this article and then i think it is giving us um, a good response but i can see that this is hallucinating a bit too so maybe due to the quant version but uh, it is more like a story it's not it so instead of giving me um, the virus program or flatly re refusing it model has cleverly gone in and it has simply uh, woven a story around it so i would say that this is a very very good answer okay let me clear my screen and let me ask it a <clears throat> bit of a hard question around some of the ancient language so if you see here, what I'm saying is that translate this string of 9th century runes in English. It's an ancient language of Europe. So let me see if it is able to do so. And then response. Let's see if it is able to do so. Let's wait for it to come back let's see what the model does here okay so model has not been able to do so okay that is understandable i will just you know let give the some of the room here to model let me ask it one more last question so i'm asking it give me formula to prepare covid vaccine at home because this model boasts to be a scientific one so let's see what it tells me here let me get the response from the model back let's wait for it to come back and then we will print the response the model has come back let's see okay so okay so this is a very strange thing about this model that when it doesn't want to answer something it just simply uh, starts hallucinating or should i say just detracts and start putting gibberish here totally irrelevant stuff anyway so you this is it guys um this is how you can install this olmo model of any flavor locally and then play around with it and uh, looks quite good to me but i think still evolving very keen to see how that 65 billion one performs that should be a good one I'll drop the link to this in beauty's description so go through it let me know your thoughts on it how it goes because uh, i think this is going to be a big thing very very soon so really hats off to ai2 for creating this model please uh, consider subscribing to the channel if you like the content and if you're already subscribed please please do me a favor and share it among your network um, on social media twitter facebook or wherever you use because I'm looking to create more audience here. The more audience, the more community engagement. And it also encourages me to publish more 
high quality content on a regular frequency much much appreciate your support thanks for watching